In this week's episode, we talk about hustle. And uh, light year. And other pop culture news of the week. We watched a lot this week. Yeah, we saw two movies. I think it was only two movies. We yeah. usually watch a lot. They don't talk about everything because mm-hmm. it's only one hour. Uh, yeah. But we've got two movies and a two series. Two brand new movies. Mm-hmm. The first one we saw was the Adam Sandler Hustle for Netflix. Mm-hmm. As you know, Netflix has a big deal with Sandler for, I don't know, as many movies as they can make. And yeah. he's delivering. So far, everything he, he made for Netflix was uh, uh, spot on. It was really good. Yeah. This one might be my new favorite Adam Sandler movie. Admittedly, I'm not the hugest fan. He's hit or miss for me. But this one was really good. Um, like, it had, it was definitely funny, but it had, like, a lot of heart and soul. It was, I, I, I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So, Hustle by netflix uh with adam sandler is a, is an underdog story mm-hmm. and i'm not gonna spoil but the trailer gives you <coughs> pretty much everything you need to know mm-hmm. uh, but not spoiling not doing it, it's a good trailer <laughs> it, it invites you to to learn that story but yeah. not telling you the story so it's an underdog story about two characters they are both underdogs one is a what's it called it scout yes so and nba uh philadelphia 76ers mm-hmm. so the sixers uh couch he travels all over all around the world mm-hmm. looking for perspective for new players mm-hmm. and he finds one in spain, spain. Mm-hmm. and again this this is on the trailer and and this guy is in a he's not a basketball player he's a street basketball he's playing uh mm-hmm. at the street he's hustling people i mean he's not hustling people he's hustling in life and he mm-hmm. plays people saying like, i'm better than you it's like you are okay you're willing to put your money where your mouth is it's like yeah i hear and they, they put money and they play against him and, mm-hmm. they, and they fail because he's really good really good yeah um this film, I think, touches on some things that Adam Sandler consistently does really well. Um, he tells really beautiful stories about family. So, And this has got a few family relationships going on, like fathers and their children, um, husbands and wives, parents and sons. It's, it, so there's a lot of that um, that's very touching and heartwarming and kind of takes us a step above just a, a sports underdog story um you have the whole like hustling the whole like working hard to make your dreams come true type thing um and also just some really good some really good humor that doesn't ever get to be like too much um it's a really well balanced i loved it i yeah. got emotional i'm not embarrassed to it's, admit it yeah it's it's, it's really good he mm-hmm. does really well the, the family and in this one he does not that it's necessary to tell to tell the story mm-hmm. uh but he uh, they do naturally it has the 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 cultural difference between mm. characters because one is a european from spain mm-hmm. and he's not like high uh, uh european he's like uh, he's like working class working class yeah uh, lower class uh mm-hmm. spaniard and he's taking care of a daughter and his mom mm-hmm. his father before him did the same and he took uh he took care of the family when his father was gone his no no spoilers uh yeah. but uh, anyways, he's a really hard-working guy, mm-hmm. and at first he doesn't believe, <coughs> and again, who would, comes someone from the, the American uh, Basketball League, the NBA, yeah. the, big, uh, the big league, and say, so, hey, you play good, you should come play for us. And one thing interesting about the movie, not spoiling, but <laughs> it, 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 you're going to see, and if you check the credits, you're going to see too. There's a lot of NBA stars yes. in the movie. A lot yeah. of them playing stars, owners, mm-hmm. coaches. Yeah, and, and it's for it's it's another thing. It's uh, NBA fans will have uh, something else yeah. to get from the movie, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it it did feel like I'm not a huge basketball fan, but this really felt like a love letter to the sport, 
to and like the whole everything that goes into it there's some great training montages some really fun um just like basketball games and and all that stuff so it's it's working on a lot of levels it was really fun to watch um it was engaging it was suspenseful even though there's some it, there is like a bit of a formula like you could tell like oh okay things are gonna go well now like oh here comes the bad thing um but it was it was suspenseful and I was like totally invested in it the whole way through um and yeah lots of I was surprised really at how many like NBA players were involved playing themselves and playing other characters yeah it was really cool yeah, there's one in fun. the trailer, former NBA player. Mm -hmm. I can't remember his name, Klitschenko. No, that's something else. Someone else. Uh, he plays, he's like old and he's like, I'm 22. Yeah. <laughs> and that's in the trailer. That's a, that's a funny moment. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's really good. It's all around mm -hmm. uh, funny, fun, a good uh, mm -hmm. underdog story in Philadelphia. You know, mm -hmm. the streets where Rocky uh, ran yes. to the top of the the mm -hmm. the Philadelphia Museum of Art, mm -hmm. the, the Rocky Steps, as they yep. as, as they known uh, to this day, mm -hmm. and it's it, it's good. Uh, I can't yeah. remember the rating, but fourteen. I I don't remember the rating either. So so look it up. If it's rated more than PG, it would be for a language. Yeah. Um. So definitely double check that. But aside most of the, from the most language, of, most of the curse words are in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, so so double check the language. But overall, I would say this is a great film to watch with your family because there's just really beautiful, wholesome things happening. Um, some some really good messages besides just a good story. That's yeah. what very well told. I think this is probably Adam Sandler like at his best. It's like all my favorite things about him. Um, yeah. So, good movie. The Hustle. Hustle. Mm -hmm. Available on Netflix, um, Woodwide, Adam yeah. Sandler, and many other stars. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. And a whole bunch yeah. of basketball people. Yep. All of them. Okay. Um, anything else about that? No. I just okay. recommend it. Uh, go watch it. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the rating again. But it's overall uh really really decent clean mm -hmm. and if a good message and yeah yeah well worth it okay we just got back from watching lightyear which is the latest from disney pixar and is currently in theaters yes lightyear the story of the space ranger is mm -hmm. that what called space ranger uh yeah space yeah. ranger uh mm -hmm. so the premise is this is the movie that andy no last name Mm -hmm. saw when he was a kid and that's why he bought the toy mm -hmm. uh, actually he asked and he yeah, got the he got toy as, as, as a gift yeah and he was really a really big fan mm -hmm. and some of the things that I would like to touch about it uh, it's not bad it's fun it's entertaining yeah, I super enjoyed it <coughs> but uh, is by no measure is by no like is not Toy Story no and it doesn't it try it's it's a different style mm -hmm. of movie is a different mm -hmm. is it's is even a different uh, um age group you know? yeah and even i don't know even more for boys um yeah it it definitely seems yeah more Boy. So it's a different genre. Traditionally different, masculine, let's say. Di different, different, uh, different uh, mm -hmm. uh, age group for for yeah. mostly I uh, more action direction for for boys. Yeah. It, it but it is funny. It grows uh, my my enjoy as you did and you a girl. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Uh, just just before you, you get to the parts you you liked, not spoiling. Okay. Uh, crazy, and it's so different. Then Toy Story to the point that uh, Buzz is almost like not Buzz, and I say that because Tim Allen is Buzz uh, Lightyear, and Chris Evans is something else. is yeah. is different. It's it's it has some of it, but it's not it. You know, between the three people that did Buzz mm -hmm. in media, there was Tim Allen. Mm -hmm. Followed by Patrick Warburton that did an animation series. Mm -hmm. It was and, such a fun series. Too. Yeah, and and and, and uh, now Chris Evans. And Chris Evans, mm -hmm. he's the lesser of all three. Uh, Buzz, as in Toy Story. 
this one is 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 a different boss. Maybe maybe they will change in the future. Maybe he will become closer to that, but maybe that's not the idea. Yeah, I I don't know. I I actually like that we have a different actor, especially because like he said the genre of this film is so different from Toy Story, which is a movie about childhood and toys and like growing up and things like that and is also a bit of a comedy. The animated series was very funny and lighthearted. Um, and so Patrick Warburton and Tim Allen, these are both names associated with comedy. Chris Evans, is, like this is a different character in a different movie. It's not the toy. It's not a goofy action hero on a goofy fun, like Saturday morning cartoon. This is like, a, I mean, it's very child friendly, but as, as gritty an action movie as you can make for kids. Um, if that makes sense. And Chris Evans is playing a really different character from Buzz Lightyear the Toy. Um, he's got a different arc to go through and all that. There were some really fun, well done references to Toy Story, um, but nothing like obnoxious or pandering. There are just like a few lines here and there. Um, we got some new characters introduced. There's some cool space stuff. Um, there's actually some really cool like science references um and, and like physics references um that i enjoyed it was like a nice nod to what space travel is is really like it's not just an action thing it's like a very like intellectually uh uh engaging pursuit um i don't know i thought i thought it was really fun there were some nice some nice messages in there about like teamwork and all this other stuff i thought it was a super fun movie yeah there's a the, the movie has several suits because you know toys oh so many toys everything that showed up there is like oh toy 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 yeah. robot but, toy spaceship spaceship toy but one of the the new uh i hope they make a toy and they make like very close to it they, they have on this one then you saw in the trailer oh. is the cat Socks. yeah it's already at walmart Oh yeah? yeah, and he does the same thing. I don't know if beep, he does beep, all beep, the beep, things, beep. but yeah. <laughs> this character, I swear, was like made the second I saw this cat in the theater or in the trailer. Like, well, there's, there's your toy, there's your merchandise. Oh, if anything, they, sh they but... should have a version for adults with the the <laughs> sleeping sounds. Yeah. Also in the trailer, not spoiling anything. Yeah. The biggest problem with the movie is actually the marketing. The trailer, yes. the second trailer is uh, awful. And awful because it shows way too much. It does. It gives away this huge plot point that should have been so... It would have been such a cool twist if that we got to see that in the theater. Yeah. Even things that we know that would be in the movie, like mm -hmm. Zerg. Zerg? Zerg. 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 Yeah. Like Zerg. Uh, uh, the first trailer, like we have, a, I mean, half a second glimpse. Yeah. On the second trailer, we have like more. So mm -hmm. it, it should, because we, we knew, we, we knew uh, uh, the backstory of the character and we knew it would go uh, to that direction. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's kind of not a lot of surprises. Uh, if you know the character, ob obviously that there, there will be, uh, since it's a prequel. Uh, mm -hmm. Plus, the, the, the comes the trailer and spoils some some big yeah. fun funny moments, some jokes even. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Despite overall, that, I think it's still worth. Yeah, but overall, worth a watch. overall was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not living in the Arabic world where the movie was banned because <laughs> of this this gay uh, relationship, which is and, like barely and a part kiss, of the film. Uh, uh, it, yeah, if you're not living anywhere there, if you mm -hmm. don't have major problems with that, uh, or your kids, you should, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, when we, we saw, <coughs> by the way, the movie has three, uh, what's it called? Oh, post-credit. <coughs> post-credit scenes. Yeah. So just, uh, be aware of that. And when we say post, we like, post. Yeah, the last one is like really yeah. after. Yeah, like we were about to leave, yeah. but we stuck around. So. But uh, um, uh, it's uh, when we were watching to see the post credit mm -hmm. scenes, and there's a uh, one of the credits that's a company uh, developing ca IMAX camera. I'm uh, not IMAX cameras, but uh, formatted for IMAX mm. theaters. And uh, I said that it's like it's like tough because there's so yeah. much going on. For IMAX now, I doubted that anyone will be willing to. Oh, let's not show Top Gun yeah. shot in IMAX. 
Uh, let's show a buzz like you. Yeah. That I know what theater owner because like like it's not like every theater has multiple IMAX screens. And so we've got Top Gun and Jurassic World out now. And before that, you had Doctor Strange. They're yeah. still out. So like, but even even just those two, like that's still that those are your IMAX movies. Yeah. Not Lightyear. It's super fun. I I would definitely encourage you know take your kids. This is if it's a fun yeah. if summer you're able to see, family movie. If you um, were to see on IMAX, yeah, sure. I doubt it's going to be able to. I would be so find. surprised. Yeah. yeah. Because because again, Jurassic World, Top Gun. Yeah. Those those are. IMAX and films. in a couple of weeks comes Thor, Thor yeah and uh, yeah I doubt it yeah anyways uh, what else um no I think that's all I got for that without it's it's if it's another you know decent good solid film yeah. for Pixar um great animations like they always do so <coughs> Yeah. Uh, as Disney do, as Disney do, uh, it might become a franchise. Who knows? It's definitely it totally could. It's definitely based on a mm -hmm. sort of a new uh, continuity for an old character. There's a beloved old character by yeah. everybody from on Toy Story, mm -hmm. and yeah, who knows? We will see. We will there, see. It was actually a lot of people talking about how. Next step would be making a cowboy movie for Woody. Yeah, for Woody. Which, I don't know. Disney does what Disney does, so maybe. But uh, they to be don't honest, need to. It's, yeah, it's, that's the feeling I have for this one. It's like, well, yeah. You know, it's like Toy Story 4. You know, why? They, but it closed, ended up being it, they closed it so yeah. well on the third one. Oh my gosh, I bawled. <laughs> and, and oh. yeah. I don't know. Anyways, that that last scene in the third one where they're like sliding into the incinerator, it's just like there goes your childhood. We're gonna burn it all. Welcome to being a grown up. Oh man. Yeah, that and was... even after that, when the, the Andy passes, you know, he grows oh. up and passes the toys to little. I can't remember her name. What was her name? Uh, it, it's 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 perfect. There's no yeah. like uh, people move on, life moves on. It was so beautiful. And some things will move on with you, some things will not. Uh huh. And uh, you know, even with death, you know, life, your kids, your mm -hmm. grandkids will move on. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was really well done, and but they decided to make it a fourth one. Mm -hmm. And now and they the decided. It's to totally worth watching. I, I had fun with it. And, and and now they decided to make a, a, a spin off a. Spin Painting from, yeah. from the universe from yeah is this whole anyway. anyways yeah if you if you don't want to go watch the movies it's definitely worth watching on Disney Plus because mm -hmm. soon enough and yeah. things are moving quick because Doctor Strange is already on is it no, no next week is already okay. on, on Disney Plus and yeah okay um total move <coughs> shift subject shift. Um, we just finished a really cool mini series on HBO. It's HBO, right? HBO Max. Yeah. Yes. Called the Staircase. Yeah, Staircase. It, it has a lot about it, uh, um, uh, and I'm even talking about the story. So mm -hmm. the Staircase is is the fictionalized version of this case that happened in North Carolina, mm -hmm. which already had a documentary mini series. I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix. And following the documentary miniseries has a movie, and now they have the fictionalized mm -hmm. version by HBO, who does things really well, and the show is really well done. It really is. So this is a true crime story um, about the death of Kathleen Peterson. I think it was like 2001. Yes. When she died, yeah, 2001. December 2001, and it was this really, I guess, a, a pretty compelling mystery because you know you've got this husband who's insisting it was an accident but it didn't really look like an accident um and so the story just follows over the years like well over a decade of like trials so and 2001 to retrials 2017. and appeals yeah okay so 16 years mm -hmm. um and then like the stuff in his past that maybe led up to this and the the way this is affecting his children and then what his children went through there are a lot of layers to this and they brought in like a really incredible cast so we've got colin firth and tony collette taking the lead and then a whole sophie turner's in this and just a whole bunch of other 
really um, solid actors. Many of whom are British, pretending to be American, but that's, oh, Ju Juliette Binoche. Um, yeah, anyway. The show uh, is executive produced, among others, by uh, Harrison Ford, mm -hmm. who would be the main, the main, tie, the main character, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, creative decisions or, or schedules, he decided not to, and, yeah. but he still produced the show. This show spans, as, as, as you said, from 2001 to 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, and the movie goes back and forth <coughs> through time, uh, yeah. sometimes in confusing ways, but sometimes in very interesting ways because they show the truth uh, in several different versions of the truth mm -hmm. uh, or theories of, yeah. of the truth. And um, what else? Uh, Michael Stubert, it's, it's on his uh, lawyer and he's, he's really good. Mm -hmm. um, and like most well done true crime type dramas the ending i found deeply unsatisfying but in a way that was very true to life like oh, we're never really gonna know last shot not gonna not gonna spoil but yeah. the director we're talking about this when oh. interviews everywhere if you don't see yeah the last shot is he says you see two different things there and it's it, it, when you see you're gonna you're gonna get what i'm saying because yeah. it's you know and the, throughout the movie the duology of did he do it? Didn't he do it? Mm -hmm. uh, and in the end, it's fiction. So he didn't tell you that he did it, but he also didn't tell doesn't tell you that he didn't do it. Which is very true to life. Like at least what we've read about the case and the way it's presented in this series. Like it's just it's oh, it's just deeply unsatisfying, but in a way that I think is. is accurate just the way this whole case went down we're never really gonna know and if you what if you, happened yeah and if you saw the documentary uh series and you want to watch the show <coughs> you might see what is you know fictionalized yeah uh, or, or not mm -hmm. but it's definitely i kind of uh, want to watch the documentary it's, it's now. interesting how they bring the documentarians to to, the, to it, they are part of this this fiction fictional show they are there they are shooting the movie mm -hmm. and they say some things mm -hmm. they kind of like us the audience they are witnesses yeah to what's going on and they have opinions that one they say oh he did it's like they all don't say he didn't do it mm -hmm. and is that for me was a big surprise because I, I wasn't expecting that but it's a nice nice mechanism to to have a, a third party uh, external eye inside the, the mm -hmm. process. On a side note that is not terribly important, but as someone from North Carolina, some of the actors, most of the actors were, had just very generic like American accents, but <coughs> some of the characters had very <coughs> thick Southern accents. And I just really appreciated that they took the time and the effort to not do just a generic, obviously fake Hollywood Southern accent. They really sounded like they were from North Carolina. And I just props to them for yeah. going the extra mile. You're really doing a really good job. Yeah, no, see, yeah. That's, that's what they didn't do. Let's and it was great. Right, chicken. <gasps> no. And catfish. Mm. Anyways. Yeah, I was surprised. Bojangle <laughs> shit. There's a, there's a moment when, like, the families come <clears> back <throat> into town after being far away and they're eating burgers. They're, like, I just. As a North Carolinian who does not live in North Carolina, when I go back to North Carolina, I don't get generic fast food. I get cookout or I get Bojangles. It was it was generic. It was McDonald's. It was it wasn't like McDonald's, but it was they were just like mm, I'm eating sliders. No, uh -huh. they would get maybe Biscuitville, but like Waffle House. No. What? The Waffle House is all over the place. There's no Waffle House in the West. Yes, yeah, I'm saying like. That's what I'm saying. There's, there's no Waffle House. No, here. but it's all over the South. Yeah. I don't know. I they I, I just feel like, and like I said, this is very nitpicky, but as a North Carolinian, they should have been eating Cajun is it, chicken is biscuits it cake out that big? Jangles. Cookout? Uh, yeah, cookout. Cookout is like a cult for North Carolina. But is it big? It's like everywhere? It's, it's all over North Carolina, and they've opened some in Tennessee now. Okay. And all you have to say to a North Carolinian who does not live in North or any in North Carolina, just like cook out milkshakes. And everyone's like, that's it. Yeah. We're going. Good call milkshakes and, and, and grape soda. No, yeah. it's cheer wine, which is cherry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> okay. Anything else about. <coughs> anyway, so I just <coughs> question the author.
authenticity. But other than that, it was fantastic. Took us on a wild ride. Uh, super not family friendly. Oh well, yeah, for no, sensitive no, no. viewers. It's HBO in and, the and, and, they, and you know, they do. Uh, they they move beyond what they they yeah. can to show they what hold nothing back. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, the Staircase mm -hmm. is a fictional show available on HBO Max. Uh, the Staircase, the documentary, I'm pretty sure is available on Netflix. And there's a Staircase Part Two, mm -hmm. which I can't remember the subtitle, which is a movie. E yeah, again, I have to Google yeah. that. Either way, it th th there's a lot, but the HBO show that we just saw. It's pretty intense, it's very interesting, mm -hmm. and if you're an adult, yeah, yeah, and if you're into true life, true crime, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, it ticks all the boxes. All right, speaking of boxes, what's going on with the box office this week? <coughs> the box office this week, so there was a wizard like you know, floating and and doing his ziri gidons and avada kedravas and and alakazans and and came the flying jet <laughs> and yeah. drop him uh out of the top uh top gun maverick is still reigning absolute in the box office and not only that it passes uh uh Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange yeah. in the Multiverse of Madness, uh, mm -hmm. worldwide, and yeah, yeah. If you haven't got to see it yet, you are wrong, and you need to see it. It's so good. Yeah. Um, and it totally deserves its spot at the top, um, of the box offices. What about Jurassic World? Jurassic World is doing really well. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, uh, if you make it, they will come. Whatever, if you bid, they come. Yeah. People uh, are going to watch. It's fun. It, mm -hmm. We recommend. So, uh, yeah. with reason. It's everything you could want from a Jurassic World I think they have like a, a 180 million uh, weekend, which Love is dollars. pretty good. Yeah. Cool beans. Um, let's talk about some of the uh, non-film, no, well, uh, the dra just the drama, but like not the fun drama in Hollywood. <laughs> um, a star, one of the stars of Riverdale has pled guilty. In Diary of Wimpy Kid. Mm -hmm. Has pleaded guilty to, of all things, Trying to assassinate Canadian Prime Minister. Oh, Justin you didn't get Trudeau. the details. I did not get the details. Uh, I just am like, just, my mind is boggled by this. Um, let me check this while I, uh, so I give the okay. information properly. But I'm pretty sure he killed his mom as well. It does say he pleaded guilty to second degree murder. Maybe Ryan Grantham is his name. But just like, it's, it's the kind of shenanigan I would expect here. But I just yeah, he killed his better mom. from our neighbors to the north. Yeah, Canadian dire of a kid actor who killed mom allegedly intended oh. to also kill Trudeau. That's so sad. You know, uh, as bad as Trudeau is, you know, there's proper ways to get him out of there. Yeah, it's called like election. Yeah. That's the whole point of democracy. Mm -hmm. But the, is that democracy? Yeah. Yeah, I thought the queen... Uh, no. Okay. Anyways, killing, she, she killing. She has a very ceremonial role. Yeah. Killing when not uh, uh, in self-defense, in defense of your family, your property, your freedom. It's not uh, the way. And, and well, he was arrested. He's going to be uh, in yeah. jail. He's going to be uh, persecuted for this uh, terrible thing he did. About terrible things in Hollywood. There's more. Ezra Miller is then hiding. Um, but thought it would be a fun idea to tease the police about being in hiding. Yes, he was teasing the police on his Instagram account. And they finally deleted the account. Yeah, but that he, guy, gosh. Talk about a fall from grace. He had some big roles in some very popular movies. And was doing, like, I thought he did great. I love him in the Flash, as The Flash. It makes in, me in wonder. He's it so makes cool. me wonder if they, if they, uh, uh, DC might not have the proper time. But it makes me wonder if Warner <coughs> changed the story because of him, because his role at the end of the second movie of the the Fantastic Beasts, he was like elevated to big bad or second in yeah. command to the big bad, and then on the second, on the third movie, it was like right in the beginning, he kind of dissolved us. He loses a lot of importance. That's a good point, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know the details. Maybe it's they're just, like, mm, that's too much. Yeah. 
Who it's crazy? just a, it's just a theory that I I I came up by watching. I'm not sure. Yeah. But anyways, about uh, uh, changing, recasting, and in, 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 in you know, uh, DC. I don't know if DC is gonna do anything about the Flash. There's like rumors and counter rumors. Nothing official. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, dealing with the multiverse. They, yeah, they there's could. opportunities. Yeah. So but, like, oh, Barry looks different now. Yeah, but or to just bring in another Flash. Oh, to bring Wally. That would be a dream. Yeah. Because Wally is the Flash that m many of us grew up with. The, the mm -hmm. animation, just as like that's Wally. Yeah. Post Crisis. And in the books, too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know if like they would do for fit. this movie, but talking about recasting people in trouble, mm -hmm. Amber Heard. There's like big rumors that she would be recast and yeah. uh, should be cut of the movie and recast. So they would do mm -hmm. reshoots with a new actress. She keeps denying it. But uh, hearsay, uh, he says, she says, there was a whole thing about the, the you know, yeah. the, the court uh, pr mm -hmm. uh, problems she had. So the fact that she says it's at this point is not yeah. very... Um, I have a hard credible. time seeing them moving forward with her because she's become so like deeply and publicly and broadly unpopular. And yeah, and um, in that case, the uh, DC Warner, uh, they were already kind of been planning for it because they they claimed months ago that uh, her participation on this movie is like, mm -hmm. like way less, is 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 minimally it's like ten percent. It's like very very small mm. portion. And uh, to cut that wouldn't be a big deal. To recast yeah. makes it even easier. I mean, makes it better than simply cut completely the character. But yeah. there's no, there's nothing official. Well, time will tell. Time will tell. I still look forward to the next Aquaman movie. I thought the first one was very fun and visually just stunning. So, so yeah. Yeah, and now be... he's the king. Yeah, and there's there's some cool stuff to explore there. Um, with or without Mara. Um, okay, let's talk about Mara. Some Mara. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Ma Mara is a different red hair. Okay. Married to a different, uh, important, not Dude. a king, but a master. Yes. Yes. Um, given that these names existed only in print for a very long time and they're spelled the same way. Mara and Mara? Yeah, Mara and Mara. They're both, oh, Mara they're and Mara. Are she Mira? Mara. With E, be it Mara. Oh, they're not spelled the same way. No. Oh, that's my mistake then. Never mind. Anyways, let's talk about the last. We were of talking us. about Mary Jade. Looks like work as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I'm reading. I'm reading one of her novels right now, so I've got Mara on the brain. Okay. Anyways, The Last of Us. So this is an HBO series based on a very cool um, video game, and the voice actors from the original game have joined the series. But as different, different characters. Different characters. Uh, I mean, at least they're gonna be there. I guess it's a good thing, right? Yeah. But um, oh, uh, I opened the, the the stuff for the game for the movie. The actors uh, are the Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, and these are like the two main characters that you play as slash follow throughout the game. Yeah, you play as Ellie and Joel. Oh, Ellie. That's the, the yeah, we couldn't remember the name. Oh, they posted this picture <coughs> with side by side comparison of uh, uh, Blondie from from Fringe. Uh, what's the name? Anna Anna uh, Anna Torv, mm -hmm. and the character that she 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 is from the game. Oh, and it looks really good. Good. It looks really good. If they change many things, that one looked good. Anna Torv <coughs> in this genre i think so well and she's good i, mm -hmm. I if anything i feel like she she we don't see her as much as i would like because i thought she did terrific yeah. on french she was spectacular yeah. yeah oh well um so yeah that's that's moving forward and it looks like they're honoring and staying close to to the source material um the old guard 2 is moving forward and they've added a couple of cool character actors yeah uma thurman mm -hmm. and uh Henry Golding. Henry Golding. I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's the he's the lead in um, Crazy Rich Asians. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. And I know he's done and other stuff. And he was GI Joe. He was. Uh, yeah. The Rise of Cobra. No, was it called? I can't remember. No, that's the GI Joe movie. He's he was 
Snake Eyes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he's he's been very good. I've always he's been a highlight in anything I've seen him in. So I look forward to that. I really liked the first one. I feel like it was kind of underrated. Um, that was it's a Netflix movie, right? The Old Guard. Yes. Yeah. With Charlize Theron mm -hmm. as the lead of this group of immortals. Pretty yeah. good. Based on a comic book. It's mm -hmm. all really good. Yeah, it looks good. Um, okay, Idris Elba. Rumors continue to flurry and swarm. and. Yeah, rumors popped again this week that he might be the next James Bond. But rumors, rumors, who knows. Yeah. I I wouldn't mind. I could totally say. I know he's he's older and he's black, which is would, is very different from past James Bonds. But I think he could play the role really well. Yeah. He's got the... He's, he has a lot of the the cachet, the panache. Yeah. Um, sure. I don't know. These days, these things, I, I, nev I have nothing against him. I like him uh, mm -hmm. in many of the things he, he did. Uh, when he works with Guy Ritchie. Or, or, he's, oh, in, yeah. or he's in the office. Uh, <laughs> even in Thor, which was ca controversial yeah. because he's Nordic God. Like, anyways, it's a comic book. It's not the actual. But, anyways, people have justifications for yes and for no. Uh, the fact that you mentioned that, that he's black, which I didn't ever notice. I'm kidding. Uh, uh, it's, it's it's interesting uh, that uh, the, the, it's like the the, the dual dual standards, double standards. Mm -hmm. Is it's uh, Tom, uh, Tom Hanks was just on the news uh, yesterday saying that. Uh, <coughs> today and I guess it, maybe it's in position in, in position of a small portion of a very small portion of society or in this case Hollywood he say and uh, today he would never be able to portray uh, his role in Philadelphia uh, the, the the role right. that he, he won an he Oscar, Oscar for because the character was gay but but again it's it, it's acting right you know would you rather have a mediocre gay actor to portray a true story uh, mm. than, you know, one of the best actors. So, there's this whole thing. But Idris Elba, uh, very talented, if it happens, is definitely better than some of the crazier rumors in the past that James Bond will be a woman. That makes it impossible because, you know, there's stuff about the character that you would have to change so much the character that it's a different character. It would be, yeah, it would be a very different vibe i don't think it would necessarily be a bad thing if it wasn't james bond like the character they had in the in the last in the last film who yeah Anna the was, she was terrific she's gonna get a no, spin-off no, no. The, the other double o oh the, the the girl that was a double o seven yeah like that that i thought was yeah. that I was think... fine where it's like part of part of the double o program so the whole like license to kill thing but not being actually james bond idris elba i think he i think he's got he the whole tuxedo gun thing like he fits seamlessly into it yeah so i don't it he's good be. looking he's charming yeah he, he, he's, had he's the, got everything yeah. that any of the other great British. james bonds have yeah yeah and and he could carry that role yeah but it, i mean as, as i'm saying it's definitely really better well. than the alternative to go mm -hmm. stream and change into a woman it would be you could make a 006 you could make a 007 but yeah. not james bond Anyways, yeah. it's all rumors for now, mm -hmm. and there's a rumor that keep popping in and popping out, and yeah, this week just did. Now, speaking of popping in and out, Jerry Seinfeld is making a movie about Pop-Tarts. Yes. Something that literally nobody asked for. And it's exactly what you think is about Pop-Tarts. He's going to direct Gosh. this one, and it has a, a pretty interesting cast. Yeah. It has uh, Melissa McCarthy. Mm -hmm. It has... Uh, Jim Gaffigan. Gaffigan. A uh, Hugh Grant. What? Hugh Grant. It has it, what else? We've got Amy Schumer. The Schumer. Uh huh. Uh, Those are the big ones they announced. Yeah. So we'll this see. Week. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, B movie. Was I wonder so if he's weird, gonna be so. there as well, but at this point, we know he's gonna direct. Yeah. Yeah. We shall see. Um, Lady Gaga has been cast as. Wait, is it rumors? Early or? talks. Early okay, talks. Early talks. <laughs> so it might definitely happen. Mm -hmm. It might not. Uh, she would be Harley Quinn, Dr. Harley Quinn Cell, mm -hmm. in the sequel for the Joker, Fully a Duel. Yeah. So this has rumors going that Fully a Duel could be a musical. Um, 
and that seems to be very very uh certain that it's gonna yeah, be a musical okay or at least have like musical elements yeah. i think that'd be cool i i think that could fit in with i and this whole idea of a folia de like a shared delusion and things like this and the way that the joker took us into like his insanity like you it's it's hard to tell like what's real and what's just his perception and um yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm down for. It. I'm willing to. They 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 took many liberties see. with the character in the first one. Yes. Uh, which we don't know what they're gonna do for the sequel. Mm -hmm. How long after it is is a Batman? Is he a full on Joker? Or he right. did kill someone, so he is a criminal, full on criminal. Mm -hmm. There's no way uh, out of that. And I uh, I don't know how how they're gonna introduce Harley there and and you know deal with the continuity but i guess they could do a different one like they did in the first yeah one. if anything uh uh i don't hate her but i I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing her because she she uh, holly speaks really yeah, Hi. it's a really and different. Lady Gaga time. has, you know, she's like this powerful alto. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, if you tell me she's gonna do the voice, she might. I just did. Mm -hmm. It might be hard for someone to do an entire movie, uh, doing yeah. that voice. But singing, can someone that is an alto sing? She's got that a pretty high? big range. She's got yeah. like I feel like naturally she has this like powerful chest voice, powerful alto. Yeah, but. I can she sing? Can she sing high all the time? Not, not, not going yeah, there and then coming probably. back, going, then coming back, like keeping I high. Know, I can't say that I've listened to a ton of Lady Gaga's music. No, no, so. I'm not talking about her. I mean, can a person that has uh, that quality of voice is an alto? Oh, sure. Can it? Can it go sing uh, high all the time? Not going there and coming back, but like mm -hmm. stay high. Sure. Okay. Yeah, it all it all depends on the range. Some people done. have huge ranges, like Ariana Grande, Mariah Carey, have are good examples of of singers with like enormous almost inhuman vocal ranges um and and yeah lady gaga probably has yeah i don't a know anyways we'll see for sure it's going to be a really i think it'll be pretty different yeah. from the harley quinn that yeah oh yeah yeah i think so because um, we do have a lot of good harleys mm -hmm. and uh, look like harley sound mm -hmm. like harley this one might not look like harley and one that sound like harley but hey joaquin phoenix it was 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 that odd too? It was that yeah. different, and it it worked, uh, it worked really uh, as was, part of yeah. their as part of their project. So mm -hmm. maybe their project, Gog is the best. Yeah, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They did great with the Joker, and and having a different take on something is not a bad thing. Um, yeah, and comic books do that all the time. Yeah, except that they don't speak. We're saying this is true. <laughs> this is true. But anyways. Um, okay, Ryan Gosling. We've got a first look photo at Ryan Gosling as Ken. Yeah, he's blonde and has so abs. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 sure. That's it. Maybe he's got maybe girls everywhere are loving it and pennies dropping and woman passing out. I, mm, I, I, this uh, looks like a comedic take someone, on it. Someone, someone, someone said something. Oh, what was it? Oh, someone. Oh, I saw this comment that was very interesting. That this is getting more bust than. Uh, Oh, oh, I can't remember if it was a Marvel movie or some other movies coming that this is getting, you know, I don't know. I guess, I guess it works. I if, buzz if, so much as curiosity. If you, if you, if you separate, uh, 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 not, I'm not saying you should, but if you separate that comic books for boys and Barbie for girls, you know, it's the rise of the Barbie verse. It might be, who knows? First of all, there already is a Barbie verse. An incredible array of yeah, animated yeah, yeah, yeah. films and but series. But not movies. Oh, she's got films. Films? She's got movies. Live action? We're, no. No, I'm no, talking about... animated. I'm just yeah. saying that there's already a well-established oh, Barbie-verse. Oh, sure. But I'm talking about the uh, cinematic uh, live action Barbie-verse. Yeah, I don't... I, a I, BCU. The vibe that I'm getting... <laughs> BCU? Why? The, it sounds bad, BCU? No, it just sounds funny. Oh, okay. the, the concept. The vibe I'm getting from the photos, the first looks, is not like a BCU thing. This seems more like a comedy. <coughs> oh, but don't you think they, don't you think they want to make more than one? I mean, well, there's always a producer who oh, wants yeah, to make more than one. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. 
<laughs> the movies the movies suffered a, a, a lot of changes originally the cast uh-huh. what's the australian uh fat lady mm. there is not a fat lady <laughs> rebel wilson <coughs> it was her right she was cast as barbie was she yeah and then they changed to uh, i don't get i i don't know maybe she was committed to, to lose weight to look like barbie but it was her and then they changed to margot robbie margot robbie there is the uh, other barbie, blonde australian very barbie like yeah yeah, she seems like a pretty natural. Anyways, uh, let's let's move on from Barbie. Yeah, let's. Um, okay, Doctor Who. So Russell T Davies, who is like the god king of Doctor Who writers, is leaving the show. This guy has written some of the best Doctor Who episodes. Oh, he's 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 a long time in the show. Oh yeah. What's the name, name of the other guy? Stephen Moffat. Uh, okay, so he he took over when Moffat left. Oh, no, he and Moffat were there together. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, I meant it when I said yeah. God King. Like uh, about God King, one of the names that uh, might replace him as a big name in comic books mm-hmm. is the uh, one and only Grant Morrison. Yeah. He worked in Justice League. He worked mm-hmm. with Marvel and DC. He did great stuff, uh, 52. He helped uh, uh, establish a lot of stuff on the, the current DC multiverse. And I, I, I don't watch Doctor Who. Uh, but if he's the one taking over, I'm pretty sure they are in really good heads. Yes, um, but he does have big shows to choose to fill. As I recall, I could be wrong, it might have been Moffat, but I'm pretty sure Russell T. Davies wrote um, the Blink episode, which is quite possibly the best, at least top three of yeah, the... Yeah, it's really, if you blink, you miss it. I don't blink. <laughs> is the whole point. Of, I've got to show it to him. He has thought. Anyway, um, other news from Doctor Who is Neil Patrick Harris has joined the cast of the 60th anniversary Doctor Who special. No word yet on like the kind of character he's playing, but he's hinting <coughs> that he's going to be a villain. A yeah. Has so. he ever been in the show? No. Okay. Well, not that I know of. I have not seen. I have not seen. I, I'm pretty behind. Okay. So. We'll see, but I'm pretty sure he has not been on the show before. Okay. All right, so let's talk about what's coming up. The Boys has been renewed. Yes, uh, season three is just out. Just started. Uh, there's only four four episodes out. Mm-hmm. And they already got it at Renew. And, mm-hmm. and they're doing terrific. Yeah. Another one, uh, another quick one about the, the, the Boys is that the character is inspired by Stanley, which is kind of like a bad Stanley because, you know, Ev- These are all like yeah. evil superheroes. Is is uh, that everybody was like talking about it that he would ever be in the show? He's gonna be in the show, and he's a familiar name, uh, familiar face. You're gonna recognize him from uh, Mad About You. Paul oh, Reiser. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, Spider-Man No Way Home, which was a huge success in the theaters, is gonna come back to theaters. On September second, yeah, but big uh, money grab from Sony uh, mm-hmm. Disney because <coughs> they released uh, the movie on on home video, Blu-ray, uh, DVD, uh, 4K mm-hmm. discs, mm-hmm. and now they come up with a different version. Yeah, this is a more fun stuff version. Yeah, bigger version when they could, you know, at least. Anyways, people that might go watch it, people might wanted to buy it. And more money for them, so yeah, yeah, sneaky. Um, it well, yeah, but here we are. Um, so that's gonna come to theater September second. Also, Sony gonna uh, release. You talk about how they're gonna make movies for Horizon. They're gonna uh, uh, new Horizon. They're gonna make movies for God of War and for Gran Turismo. They announced that Neil Blomkamp, the South African director, is gonna direct mm-hmm. that one, and he is a talented, very good director. So we'll see how he's gonna do with you know cars yes we will see that in august of 2023 yep. that's that's what's planned right now um a new teaser dropped for a netflix film called blonde which stars anna diarmas as marilyn monroe she looks good she does look good this is already stirring up some interest not, not just because the teaser looks good but also because the film got an nc-17 rating which is very uncommon for like so-called mainstream films. Yeah. Um, so it's the director has been very vague and I think, about I it. I think in 1917 is mostly for nudity. 
I don't think it's violence per se, uh, yeah. quite so much. It's, it's, it's nudity. It's, a, it's like, yeah. it's one step from porn. Yeah. In fact, it, it quite often is. Anyway, the, so based on what the director said, the speculation is that it has this rating because it's going to show a lot of the assaults that she dealt with. Oh, um, violence? Mm -hmm. Sexual violence, specifically. Oh, sexual violence. Huh. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's that's the word on the street. That's kind of what the director has alluded to. That a big part of he he talked about how this film wouldn't have been made without the Me Too movement. That kind of changed the way we talk about and look at um, sexual assault and sexual harassment against women. So so yeah, just FYI. Yeah, that's she is very coming. interesting. She mm -hmm. she. She, she looks like really basically du dual persona is an interesting. We'll see. Mm -hmm. um, we also saw a trailer for a sh new show called Tulsa King. Yeah, Stallone is coming to TV to Paramount Plus. Mm -hmm. And this mafia show, and you know, it's gonna be good. Yeah, so a mafia guy gets sent to uh, Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah. Okay. Um, the new Avatar Studios at Nickelodeon are coming out with three, count them, three new animated movies that deal with The Last Airbender. Um, specific, like, that's what, that's all we know about them. Okay. They're coming and they deal with The Last Airbender. So this isn't part of Legend of Korra or other avatars. This is about Aang, the gang, that time period. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Knives Out revealed uh, the name for the second movie mm -hmm. on the series. It's going to be uh, it's a Netflix movie and it's going to be called Glass Onion. Mm -hmm. It's got an all new cast, except, of course, for Daniel Craig, who will be reprising his role as Benoit Blanc. Benoit Blanc. It looks delightful. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth Moss says there's more story to tell with Shining Girls. She said there's always a possibility. Yeah. If they called, she might come back. I, 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 I don't know. I like the ending. I think it should stay the way it is. <coughs> yeah. Too if much they make of another good, season, I'll totally watch too it. Too much of a good thing. Am I, am I, you know, am I yeah. bad? And you either die as a hero or live low enough to become a villain. Maybe she yeah. becomes the villain. That Who would knows? be something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, in the meantime, Magnum is getting some attention. Magnum, a comic book, uh, a Marvel comic uh, hero, a member of the Avengers, is getting a TV mm. show on Disney. Uh, yeah, that's all we cool. know for now. Okay. Uh, same uh, uh, producer, uh, the same oh, producer from Chang Chi. Mm. That yeah. was a good movie. Yeah. I like that one. Uh, okay, Game of Thrones is getting a sequel series. Jon Snow, that knows nothing, yeah. going to get a sequel series mm -hmm. takes place after the events of game of thrones and you know hbo game of thrones it has potential mm -hmm. we'll see yeah with different writers if we're lucky um okay so amazon is working on their lord of the rings prequel series um, miranda otto has joined the cast of an animation called the war of the rahirim it's set 138 years before the lord of the rings trilogy and it's focused on Helm Hammerhand. Yeah, Helm Hammerhand. So this is kind of like backstory. This is all about like Helm's Deep and stuff like that. So the the thinking is that Miranda Otto is going to be acting as a narrator. Miranda Otto, who of course played Eowyn in um, Two Towers and Return of the King. So yep. I am very excited about this. Um, an animated series lots of Rohirrim content like this this is very good and I'm very excited about this yeah and last okay. but not least is uh, a uh, this uh, engineer at Google mm -hmm. uh, claimed that the Google AI is becoming alive he had conversations with the AI and the AI mm -hmm. claims that uh, being shut off would be like death and is afraid yeah. of uh, death so it's it's funny, if not scary, that Google is building a self-aware AI. Google denies this. Yes. Denies it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know... And went so far as to suspend this engineer. I don't think he's actually been fired, but and he's but, in trouble. But dealing with so many layers of many lines of programming, uh, what this 
guy here is programming. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know if this guy here is programming. It could totally happen. And not everybody knows what's going on because it's, it's, it's so many layers on top of layers that uh, it's tough to have someone that knows everything. And if someone claims it might not be really truthful about it. But mm. that's definitely an interesting thing. Yeah, it is It is interesting. And because there's also Google's counter argument that like, of course, it's going to sound alive because it's a basically a bot that's trying to imitate human thought and human attitudes and all of that. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, uh, in news that doesn't really feel like news because I think we all gave up on this long ago, Internet Explorer is officially ending. Oh, yeah, like 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's, it reminds me of The Office when Jim and Pam are like, we're engaged, and everyone's like, I thought you already were. <laughs> but anyway, so I guess that's goodbye, it. Goodbye, Internet Explorer. <laughs> yeah, and with that goodbye, yes. we also say our goodbyes. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you next week with more, mm -hmm. and may the force be with you. To infinity and beyond. Bye. Bye.